What's up, everybody? Mel here again. Hopefully you're doing well this weekend. Um, so we are back with episode two of our build here. And in this one, I'm going to work on the entrance to our tavern. So I have another 4x10 strip of foam core. Now this one, I'm going to take my ruler and start with, we're going to measure exactly to the four inch mark here. And we're going to do a, I'm going to get my trusty pencil from here. And I'm going to make a mark right about where this needs to be. Let's do this way. Okay, so right about here. And then we're going to go ahead and line this up. Draw our line in. And as you can see, we can see where this is. It's going to denote where I want my uh, my bar. Yeah, you know, basically where again we're going to be putting the paneling in. But of course, this is the front of the building, so it's going to be a little bit different. But I want to establish at least one line where we're going. And then here, I'm going to measure out. exactly where I want to put the door which since it's four it's 10 inch so we're gonna go about five this is where I'm gonna to want to at least have a note for where the center is and I'm gonna I'm just gonna go by draw a grid in there so I have a center line and act of, to figure out what I want to do for this now here's a little neat trick I'm going to want this to be an edge. As you can see here, this is pretty good surfing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look of where about how tall I want this door to be. All right. And then I'll decide exactly how wide I want this to be. And I want it to be somewhat wide. So I want to line this up pretty much with that. Now you'll have noticed, this is a little bit off over there. Not always perfect, I know. I know. Story of my life. That's why I'm not a millionaire. But hey, you know what? It's good enough. You will make mistakes. You will have uneven markings. These things will happen. Don't beat yourself up over them. Nobody expects this to be perfect. This is a hobby after all. We're going to make mistakes here. But at least now we have a pretty centered door, actually very centered door. And we want a couple other things on this. Since it's the front of the building, we're going to go ahead and we're going to mark out what we want to cut. So right now I know this is where I'm going to cut. And then what I'm going to do here is we're going to put a window on each side. But we're not going to put small windows. So once again, I'm going to come back to like the midway point here. And figure out where I want these to be spaced. So I know from the door. About where it is. So I'm going to have one window from here. How big is this door? This door comes out to about so we're gonna have one come from about the seven over here to just about the nine. 
And since this is, you know, a tavern for use in most places, this is a decorative element that we want. I want. I want to, you know, basically establish the fact that this is a desire of mine for how I want this to look. You can, of course, take whatever you want to do with this and do what you please. That is fine, too. I'm going to do another about an inch. Here we go. So we get this. It's going to be roughly a two-inch long window. So we'll go there. So right about here. And that'll denote how long the window is going to be. Now, I'll draw this in for you. Just line that up there. How tall do I want this? So I want to go for an inch off and a half. And again, Line this off, an inch off, and a half. Draw on the bottom. And then the top. Just like so. There's my window. And I'll do the same thing on this side using the same lineup technique. Now, if I want to make sure that this is perfectly square, if this is something that you know, matters to me, maybe it matters to you, I have my square rule. Line this up the way I want it. Right there. Just come across. Check here. Again, we want this squared flushed up. If that's what you want like me, you go like this. And you can just check to make sure that this comes down the way you want it. So this is... And that's going to be perfect. For what my needs are, that's great. So now... I'm going to get another tool out, which again, you probably have. And if you'll just bear with me a second while I get... So we got our cutter. I'm using an open knife. Nice sharp blade. And for this one, I'll just cut along this just to give myself a good sharp guide, good hard guide. Nice and straight. Two passes to make sure it goes through. We're going to go ahead and repeat this now. Now, this week was a little bit... Last week I was reviewing the film and the video, and I didn't like the shakiness of the cam. So, 
good clean cut. We're going to cut the straights out, and then I'll do this here afterwards. But you can see this went all the way through, so we're good there. And as you know with the windows, we know where, where I'm going to do with this anyway. We are going to fill them in with some wood stir strips to line the interiors. So if we have a little bit more, the cut is okay. And once you get your cuts in, you're good to go. We'll go ahead and we'll just make sure this cuts through on the back. And now we should just be able to poke this out, pop it out, just like that. We have our window. We'll clean this up a little bit. Now you could sand this if you like. I may or may not, I don't know. I'm gonna do that. But again, we're gonna do the next thing, same thing over here, we're gonna just do our cuts. Nice clean cut there. Cut there. Cut, and one more. Now even though this is the front of the building, it could be the back of the building, depending upon what you want to do with it. Doesn't matter which face you have this going. We're going to cover up any of the stray lines and everything. going to very lightly go over these cuts here. There we go. And once again, make sure this is all nice and clean. Like so. Poke it out. Pop that out right there. Clean these little bit, these iron pieces of foam off. There we go. Now there's our windows. I'll just Quickly, now what I'm going to do here I'm going to get out my exacto knife and very slowly work this cut in. couple of passes and we'll link it up right there and we can see on the back that that came through and we'll just lightly go over that like so and then we'll just do the same thing with the other side here and if you go like this and just slowly you just want your guideline, and then you can go a little bit deeper, and then should be able to get this in three, maybe four passes. Yeah. Clean this up over here, link it up. There we go. There comes our door. 
and there we go. Now the door I'm not going to do, first of all I'm going to keep this because we're actually I'm going to file this down and I'll show you that right now. I'm going to take my handy file stick. I say handy, and there it is. Now mind you, I'm wearing a mask. You should be wearing a mask. You're going to be filing anything that's going to make any sort of dust. You want to make sure to protect yourself. Okay, and then we're just going to file along the sides. That's fine. All right. Now this door is going to get fitted with the standard, we're going to do some stir sticks on it. Just to give it some actual detail. I like to have my doors look good. And then I'll do a couple of cross boards like this. But this will be in next week's video. But as you can see right now, this weird, there we are. Now we have our front. And in fact, I can use this entire stick here to put on our accenting which is actually going to be, and I'm going to match this right up with a piece that we created last week. So we're going to organize this stuff, put some of the stuff away. I don't need this anymore. So we'll move our windows. These two I saved because I may use those to be parts of shutters. So now what I'll do is I'll line this up here like this. So this is going to run to basically here. So we're going to go ahead and highlight where we're going to do this. This is actually going to come to here because I'm going to leave some room to put another stir stick in. So that's our first cut. And then from here, I want to come about to from there. In fact, I'm thinking about if I want to do this. No, I don't. Because the front of this is I'm going to actually do this with a veneer. I say veneer, but that's actually what it's probably going to be. It's going to be a veneer of stone. With a stone piece coming around here. So I will actually work that in. But this is where we are at right now. So basically what this is going to come out. So we're going to have, we have our three walls. Actually, we have all the walls done, so I will be next week assembling this, so we'll have our three walls done, or four walls, and then we'll be finishing off the net. This is going to go on for a couple of weeks, guys, guys and girls, so yep, just hang in there, but I wanted to record this for y'all, so you can see start to finish how I lay out the basis of this. Now, what we're going to do in the next episode, and what I'm going to film a little bit later this week, is we're going to do a veneer. I'm probably going to split this up and get this designed out the way I want it to be with these around here. And then I'm going to do a stone around here. And then I will do the rest of this likely in a stone probably up to about this point and then the rest of this will all have like a stucco finish i may or may not put some wood like lumber beams on here if i do i i have to figure out what i want to do and how i want it to look i may do something like a cross hatch just under the windows again i want to keep keep it looking somewhat in the design I have in mind, but I have to see what I want to do with this. But I, I know this is going to look good. This is exactly what I want for the opening. So for the front. So yeah, once again, thank you very much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this video. This one's a little bit different than the other ones I know. Um, looks like we should have fixed the stability issue with the camera. So that's good. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great weekend. And this has been Mel for Vell Craftworks. Thank you again.